Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're running on the right track. All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad that you decided to join in for another video. If you're new here, I'm Sam. Thank you for joining us. And it would mean so much to me if you would hit that little red subscribe button down below and tick that little notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my videos. I upload new videos every single week. With that being said, in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you how I make my um, peanut butter cups. They're super easy to make, they're really delicious, and they're keto friendly. Um, if they fit into your micros, you can enjoy one. I usually have one once a day um, if my macros allow it, but let's just jump right on into the video and let's show you how you can make these little guys okay first of all don't mind my kitchen i'm doing a cleaning video later right after this video so um, i'm just going to leave everything so i can clean it up in just a bit but what you're going to want to get is um, some coconut oil you're going to need some vanilla salt cocoa powder peanut butter and that's all you're gonna need I might add in something else it just depends okay you guys I've got everything that I need set up right here I'm just going to go through the list of everything that I have set out but not sure if I'm going to use so I've just got some peanut butter um, you can use any brand that you like this is just what I have on hand because I ran out of my organic no stir great value peanut butter which i always use i just run out so i'm going to substitute this just for the video i've got stevia powdered stevia i've got some vanilla i've got some coffee extract i've got some maca powder i've got some hershey's cocoa you can use um, whatever brand that you like. This is just what I have on hand. Um, this is the unsweetened 100% cocoa. I've also got MCT oil. This is the brand that I use. It's Diet Works Medium Chain Triglycerides. Um, so yeah, that's what I use. Um, I've got coconut oil. Um, I'm obviously going to need more than that, so I've got a backup bottle here. This is just 100% pure coconut oil. I've also got cacao nibs. So, what you're going to do first is you're going to take your coconut oil and you're going to measure out one cup. Now we're just going to melt this in the microwave for about 30 seconds or just until it's melted. Okay. So what you're going to do after your coconut oil melts is you're going to divide it into two bowls. You've got um, two bowls here. Um, I've got three quarter cup in my smaller bowl and I've got one quarter cup in my larger bowl. This is just going to help us later. So you're just going to set the one quarter cup of co uh, coconut oil aside. What you're going to do now is you're going to add in one quarter cup of stevia and you're going to add in a half a cup of cocoa powder. This is a half teaspoon measure. I'm just going to measure out one half teaspoon of vanilla and for these today I'm going to use the coffee flavored vanilla uh, excuse me the coffee flavored extract because it will help bring out the chocolate flavor and I'm just going to use a quarter teaspoon not much at all because it is very potent you don't want to use that much now I'm just going to add in one tablespoon of MCT oil 
a half a teaspoon of maca powder. You don't want to add too much because it will overtake whatever that you put maca powder in. So we're just going to add that. Now what I have here is just a half a pack of Keto X Max Swiss Cacao. You do not have to use this. Um, but I'm going to just to give it a little bit more flavor and sweetness. I'm just going to pop that in there. And now you're just going to grab a whisk and just whisk this all together until it's smooth. Now that that's all smooth, this is just a tablespoon measuring spoon. And we're going to use this later when we fill our cups. Now we're going to work on the peanut butter side. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take about a half a cup, well, about a quarter cup of peanut butter should do the trick because I usually add one tablespoon per um, mold. So we're just going to do a cup of peanut butter and you're going to whisk this together until it's smooth. Now that's all smooth. Our chocolate mixture is smooth. Now we're just going to move all this out of the way. Okay guys, now I've just got a pan. This is just a muffin silicone pad that I've got. I love these. These work really well when you go to get them out. They're just the regular size. Um, you can use the mini sizes if you want. That's perfectly fine. So what you're going to do now is you're going to put a tablespoon in each of these and fill these up with your peanut butter mixture. Now you're going to let these sit in the freezer for about 10 minutes. All right, guys, I just got these out of the freezer. As you can tell, they are slightly set. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in some cacao nibs. And I love the crunch of these in um, my cups. Um, you can buy these at Walmart or where, just wherever they carry them. I buy mine at Walmart. But that is what they look like. They're just little cacao nibs. And you're just going to sprinkle just a few in here just to give it a little bit of crunch. Now you're going to take your chocolate mixture. I did forget to add in um, some salt earlier, so I just put in just a little pinch maybe a half a quarter of a teaspoon and just stir that around. Now you're just going to add in your chocolate on top of this evenly. I do it in one tablespoon measures at a time. Now we're just going to pop these in the freezer for about 30 minutes until they're completely set. It should take between 30 minutes to an hour. All right, guys, that's it for now. Um, I'm just going to let those chill out in the freezer for a while. And now I'm just going to get to cleaning the house, just get uh, my mess cleaned up, get that filmed and prepped for going live either tomorrow or Friday. So, I will show you the cup, the peanut butter cups just as soon as they get done. So I'll see you guys back in just a bit. Okay, you guys, I just got done cleaning for now for my other video, but these have been in the freezer for just over an hour. So I'm just uh, going to take these out of the molds and pop them in a little container put, uh, put them in the fridge I'll show you what they look like okay you guys this this is the container that I put these in it's just a little ziploc plastic container um, it holds them all really well so I'm just going to put these 
put these in here. Okay, you guys, this is what they look like. This is how big they are. They're a regular size Reese uh, cup size, but they're two layers of so the peanut butter and the chocolate with the cacao nibs in there, and they're really, really good. And they come out of the little molds very easily. That's why I love using these little molds. Plus, it's easy cleanup. You just run some hot water over those with a little soapy water, and they clean up really, really well. So, yeah, you guys, that is what they look like. It's just a little cold on the top, but um, that's what they look like, and they're so, so good, you guys. I hope you give these a try and let me know how you like them because my family and I love them very much. They're really, really good. Um, and plus, they take away that sweet craving that you have at the end of the day. I usually have mine right after dinner. So I'll just get one of these and um, eat one of those after dinner and I'm good for the night. And they keep really well in the fridge. So you can have them all week long, two weeks. You can stick them in the freezer if you want. If you want to keep them longer, it's perfectly fine. I do that sometimes. I've got some pumpkin pie fat bombs right here that I keep in my freezer at all times. Just when I want one of those. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button down there below and tick that little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. I upload new videos every week, you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.